Welcome back guys to another video. I know I haven't uploaded in a long time. I've just been very busy exams. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a NPC dummy move from one place to another using the move to function. It is very easy and if you follow my steps you should get this very quickly. So before we start make sure you like and subscribe. That's the least you can do. It's free and it's very easy. Um, and yeah we've got that out of the way now. Let's begin. So to begin, what we can do is we can just go to the home page of Roblox Studio and just click on this base plate. Next, what we need to do is we need to open our toolbox. So it's down here. If you don't have it open, just go to view, click toolbox right there. So in the toolbox, I'm going to search moving NPC and it should come up there. Make sure that you're, up you're updated to the latest Roblox. Um, I think one of the features is that if you type something up, it should auto suggest for you which is quite cool okay so once you've got the moving npc you want to find this one moving npc by reset 574 and yeah just click on that and bring it into roblox studio delete the spawn point as well so what we need to do first is we're going to rename this so either press f2 or right click and press rename and all you have to do is rename it to npc full capitals next we're going to press this arrow and we're going to go inside and we're just going to get rid of the move script, the respawn script, and the script script. Yeah, the script script. So just highlight all of them and press delete. Perfect. Once you have that, that should be it. Now we can start making our points. So let's say we want it to move from here all the way to here. Well, that is quite simple. We can just add the part. So let's just add the parts to where we want it to move to. So I want it to go from there... I need to put this on the ground. I want it to go from there to there to there to there. So I'm just going to duplicate this, move that over there, duplicate this, move that over there. And of course, you can make it as intricate as you want. It doesn't really matter. Next, what we're going to do, we're just going to name this point one, point one, point two, and oh, and point three. And that is literally it. Um, next what we can do is we can change the transparency of these to 1. So highlight all of them, transparency 1. And it makes it invisible, makes it look a bit better. Perfect, so that's all of that out of the way. We can now go into the scripting bit of this. So we're just going to go to service script service and we're going to add a script. So now first thing we need to do is we actually need to reference our NPC. So we're just going to type in local NPC is equal to game dot workspace dot npc this is literally telling the script to look in the game and in the, actually in the workspace to be precise and we need and look this is all the stuff in the workspace you can see up here to here and it's pretty much saying to look for npc and npc is right there so it's not going to error it's going to say okay that's fine perfect so now we've got our npc referenced we can go down for this we need to write a while true do loop actually let me make this full screen quickly we need to write a while true do loop, just like that. And then let, we want, let's say we want to wait eight seconds. We want to wait eight seconds before this whole thing starts. So now we can actually start programming the NPC. So we're going to do NPC dot humanoid dot colon move to. And inside these brackets, we're going to write where we want it to move to. So game dot workspace dot point one dot position this is pretty much saying we want to move to point one and the position of point one so pretty much the location so what is it uh yeah right there location next what we can do is we can we write the we write npc again dot humanoid dot move to finished colon wait and then we're gonna wait 0 0.5 seconds or what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 0 0.5 seconds, but I'm going to comment out something next to it. I'm going to say, change this to whatever the intermission between is. So the longer this is, the more the more time that you wait before you move to the next one. Perfect. So just copy and paste this and paste it again. Copy and paste this, paste it again. And now what we need can do is just... Where, uh, so what we need to adjust is where it's moving to because if we just leave it like that It's just gonna move to point one point one point one 
And we've got all these three points. So we're just going to go to point one right here. We leave that. And here we're going to write point two. And then here we're going to write point three. And actually, I'm going to get rid of that because we've already written it once and it's just annoying. Perfect. So once you've done that, that's literally it for the script. That's that's done. Perfect. Um, so now what we have to do is... Uh, I think that's it. So just close off the toolbox and let's press play. And now let's see what happens. So we spawn in the game. Right. Let's go. And as you can see, it walks with this really nice animation. It stops for 0 0.5 seconds. There we go to the next point. Boom. And as you can see, that's really nice. It looks really nice, as you just saw. Um, and because we got rid of the... Um, the uh, Because we changed the transparency to 1, it looks really nice. Uh, but pretty much what's happening now, it's going again because we've done a while true do loop. So it's pretty much going to repeat forever. So actually, what we so actually what we can do is after this we can just pray say break, and that means it won't happen again because we've broken out the while true do loop. So quickly, if I just make all these points visible again, we've got them again. We can move these to whatever we want, like that. And then also one thing I've noticed is that it's when you when it walks over, it actually kind of goes up because it's because it's like it can it can collide with it. So we're just gonna turn can collide off, and that's just so simple. You just highlight all of them, can collide. Where is it? Off. There we go. And play again, and it should do the route that we have assigned it to. So there we go. It goes there. Wait 0 0.5 seconds there. 0 0.5 seconds and there. And and as you notice, it won't play again because we've broken out the loop. So that's really it. Um, nothing more to say about that. Let me know if that did help. So let me know what kind of videos you do want in the future. Um, yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.